star, 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 kira, kira, watashi wa star. <laughs> Anyhow. Hey lovelies, it's your girl Swan Creates here, bringing to you a brand new video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Swan, I'm a Trimbegonian artist that likes to draw dark skin, thick thighs, and big hips ladies like me. And if you're not new here, what is up, home skillet biscuits. Okay, so over on Pinterest, I found this amazing illustration by Lorena underscore carrot cake. And as soon as I saw the illustration, it instantly gave me B and Freya's vibe and I have been drawing these characters in well since I've done the video I did it for the video for fun but I keep thinking that I should do a graphic novel of them you know and it just came all flood and back when I re-uploaded those videos th this series and yeah I just think okay let me just draw my characters in this pose so the original pose is miss lorena underscore caricate over on instagram her illustration is beautiful i've checked with her over on instagram she good and it was so fun just drawing my characters in my sketchbook so i've never drawn these girls traditionally before to be fair i haven't drawn these girls ever again since I've done that video even though I keep thinking about them and I keep thinking of their stories I have so many ideas so many ideas of what could happen I even know whose book coming first whose book is second and whose book is third and it's a trilogy <laughs> like I put so much thought in it but I have not done any drawings for it and that's a damn shame that's a damn, damn shame. <laughs> and a big part of that is that I'm the type of person who hates redrawing the same thing over and over again. If you guys have been with me for a while, have you, you seen my art? I'm pretty sure you notice I always draw new characters, excluding my OCs. Swan was the first character ever where I was actually okay redrawing her over and over again. Can't say the same about the others. And I'm trying to get more into drawing Sharite and Leela. I've drawn Moonlight a lot. She was my first oh no wait. Sharite was my first OC ever. I dropped her. <laughs> I when I redesigned her, damn it, she came back. Moonlight was my second OC ever. Swan came third then Layla so it's just like ah but the person who I always draw is Swan she my girl she my <laughs> avatar and that I said again already I hate drawing the same thing over I get bored drawing the same thing over and over and over again yet I will sit down and watch somebody draw the same characters over and over again a la Casey the Gold. <laughs> I could sit down and see her draw ants, her ant characters, over and over again. I love it. I'll eat it up. Now she has cactus and pear. I could see her draw them all the time too. She has her own OCs. I eat it up. But yet when it's up to me, my brain is like, but we drew them already. Do we have to draw them again? Isn't it more fun to come up with something new? I'm like, ah. Oh. So, I think I should draw something new about their story. And also, since I want to work on a graphic novel about them, I love the design of Brie. Brie is so cute and so adorable. I love her so much. And I love, love the design of Tamara. She, her design is like, Mwah. But the only design, even when I was creating her, that gave me beans. Is Tam it's not Tamara. I love Tamara. Freya's. I love her. I love the idea of Freya. I love her story. But it's given me such a huge headache having to draw her design the way I did. So I think I want to switch it up a lot. So I need to like redesign her. Should I do it in a video or should I just do it by myself? 
let me guide let me guys <laughs> let me know in the comments below guys because right now one thing about that is stopping me is the bad guys of the show the villains of the show as well as i don't like <laughs> i don't like freya's design it's so complicated on that note bah, 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 sworn news <laughs> Okay, lovelies, since I got help last time to create my magical girls, I will also like your help in creating the magical villains. They don't have to be magical, but they gotta be villains. I want you guys to send in who the minions, you know, the kind of comic relief, who they always get to beat up the, toy, the team rocket. Blessed off at the speed of light, surrender now or prepare to fight. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, carry that way. Who is the team rocket? Who is the person they will constantly be beaten until they meet the main person? This will help me so much in what's this going on. Okay, guys, please, I would like to hear your ideas on what kind of villains will be for my girls. It'll be so much fun, guys. <laughs> okay, back to the video. So, you didn't think I just drew Freya and B, did you? No, Tamara is also here. <laughs> She always feels like the third wheel and I'm still debating to one I'm still debating should I make her know that they have feelings for each other or should she be clueless and it be like a <gasps> I think it'd be more fun if she knows but doesn't say anything because she knows both of them are like thick headed about it. But it just was such a funny idea because I always wanted to draw the two of them B and Freya flirting and Tamara just did looking at them like um hello I also exist and this was finally the perfect opportunity to do it I don't think I got the expression 100% the way I wanted to express how disgusted Tamara is with the both of them but there I am I really like how these illustrations came out um, sometimes when I draw things digitally I don't feel comfortable or yeah comfortable doing it traditionally but I think I captured them really well and I really I know I keep saying I really like how it came out but I do I really do like how it came out and the all three of them I think I got it as close as I can from like the digital version with the markers <laughs> can you just imagine this your two friends who we've been known all this time are just constantly flirting with each other without realizing they're flirting with each other so B and Freya are in love but Freya doesn't think she deserves to ask B out because of something she did to her in the past B forgave her but Freya never forgave herself it has something to do with her explosive temper <laughs> and B thinks she's not good enough for Freya or she just isn't aware of her feelings. You know what? I love that. I love the kind of clueless person that every time somebody's flirting with them, they have no idea that the person is actually flirting with them. So I think that's going to be that, that that's their dynamic. Freya knows she's in love with B. B is in love with Freya, but she isn't aware that's the the feeling, you know, and she just thinks they're friends. And she still thinks she, like, she isn't good enough to be Freya's friend. And yeah, and Tamara, Tamara is just a hothead and she's lucky they hang out with her at all. <laughs> I love my girl, but she is crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it. I know I had fun drawing my girls. They look so good in my sketchbook. And please share your tips on how to convince yourself to draw the same character over and over again. I really love art books where the characters are shown in different positions and different outfits. Does Kim, does Kim Possible have an art book? I just say that because Kim Possible is one of the cartoons where the character had different clothing. So you don't have to look that up. But anyhow, I just want to draw my characters in various poses so i could work on my graphic novel <laughs> i need baby can you be my motivation because seriously i have not drawn these characters 
since I've created them in the last video. So all your suggestions would be a great help. Thank you. So you get to see my video face and we've come to the end of the video and here we go here are my girls they look spooky. and then we got tamara <laughs> you know it's so funny it kind of looks like it's finally you what it's finally me and you and i uh, send your friend steve did it did it did it do steve did it did it did it do steve <laughs> But I really like how it came out. They look so cute and adorable with markers. Ah, I'm really happy and I really need to redesign Freya. Don't forget to send in your prompts of what the bad guys could look like, what the minions look like. I know who the main bad guy is, but still, give me some ideas. She's a woman. Just give me some props for her okay guys thanks so much for watching and i'll post these pictures on my patreon which oh my god yes transition wow she's so good at it <laughs> i have started back my patreon yay so guys yes i started back my patreon and it's not how it's so traditionally used one of my favorite artists of all time is gdb and how she uses her patreon is that whatever you want to contribute go ahead she has different tiers and whichever one you feel comfortable donating to you can go ahead but all of her art i think all of her art is available for free and this is going to be different because i don't feel comfortable posting my art online <laughs> this whole ai stupidness is just <laughs> but like I don't think people are coming for my art, but still, it's giving me anxiety to literally post anything online. <sighs> so, it's for free. You could see these posts, me taking pictures of these things, for free. The only thing that's going to be behind a paywall is a content called Sketchbook Session. It's where I do a spread. Oops. Where I do a spread in my sketchbook and it will have limited edit limit why can't i speak words limited editing and there'll be no talking it will just have lo-fi music in the background i have like six or seven videos already on my patreon i already have content on my patreon okay guys so you could go over there that's the only thing that's going to be the paid behind a paywall and it's going to be available for all three levels that i'm posting all of them getting the exact same thing so if what you feel comfortable contributing you don't have to go but all my posts all my like pictures work, work in progress stuff updates all that will be free so you don't have to <laughs> contribute anything if you don't want to just being over there helps a lot okay lovelies thank you so much and i hope you guys have fun drawing in your sketchbook and i hope to learn to draw these characters over and over so i could continue their story and i'll see you and i see you lovelies bye bye bye